Yeah, if I want to see or not. Hello and welcome to Defense on Series Session uh, 92. Oh. Okay, let's start with the recap. Last session, um, <coughs> Amps uh, researched the regulations on premium. I essentially found out that uh, well, he should be fine as long as you're not sh sharing secrets with others. Since, uh, well, a let's say, sort of a production secret. Like a <coughs> people who are going ham on his ass. Uh, and Amps, uh, well, you know, Bacon did some uh, research to uh, fuck with the Homo rogensis and essentially found a compound, or like so some compounds, uh, to which the Homo rogensis are more susceptible to than humans. And then he made some uh, bacteria to synthesize, uh, like 20 liters uh, of it per day, per tank. Uh, can be tripled uh, if he uh, feeds it with quintessence. It's of course uh, pretty expensive, but uh, doable. Let's see. Right. Uh, Nick, uh, on the other hand, uh, essentially created a cube computer model of the uh, place uh, where the uh <coughs> where the the hacking of his uh, of his stuff took place, and got a pretty decent model going on. Uh, then Amps uh, did some research on the tunneling drill, like mostly mostly based on data from Earth, and created like a preliminary design, which ended up being pretty good. Uh, Bacon gave uh, the new chief security electricity, the electricity enhancement, uh, then Bacon also detoxed Amps, and then Vargas also talked with Amps about uh, some drones. Essentially, they're sharing one drone in exchange for. Uh, she's getting one drone from Ems uh, in exchange for, uh, like, lending out one of her, one of her goons to essentially operate uh, the others for Ems. And then he wants to have the. Uh, uh, she also wants to uh, share costs uh, for, for for like new drones and stuff in exchange for essentially uh, uh, putting like the the, remain, like the drones after they're done uh, into like. Uh, more or less uh, central um, administration to like use them for uh <coughs> for uh, well like general like general purposes like some sort of build play some sort of arsenal for later use so they can always be uh, readily available then uh Nick did this did a nice little wholesome uh, session of uh, him and Bam going to the shooting range. Uh, AKA uh, the outside. <coughs> Since they don't have a proper shooting range. And, uh, well, they, uh, the six th they did a lot of, uh, you know, bonding, but uh, no actual pros uh, progress on uh, teaching them how to shoot. Um, well, well. Um. Yeah, Vargas did some, well, did some research and uh, remembered some stuff during during, the t during talking with Ems uh, about how to uh, harm uh, harm the dragon that Ems found, and uh, that uh, also found some hints that uh, the dragon parts uh, might have some mystical properties that can be exploited. And well, Allied on the other hand used this new portal to go to Radiant Station and uh, do some meet and greet there. He met with some business owners and then he also uh, uh, also went on uh, to find out more about the uh, political factions uh, within the station. More or less, uh, most people are very neutral. But uh, there are also some uh, others. I believe it was, uh, I forgot to note it down, but I believe it was uh, the uh, <coughs> the new uh, 
well, people associated with the new administration or well, supporting it anyways. Okay, and well, let's see. What are we gonna start with? Uh, anyone has something uh, that we need to do first? Well, I guess not. Let's think I what I have to do. What I want to do. That, that's a very good question. No, I have nothing pressing if you want to put any events to interfere with our life or decide randomly. Oof, I would never do that. But yeah, um... I think, uh... The easiest way would be to start with uh, neck, I think. It's so a new day, right? Not sure. Uh, not sure if I take one over. I usually forget to note those down. Uh, bacon, you know, you were you were there last session. Did we take over today? Um, last session. Uh, I mean, I didn't even write up the XP. I have no fucking idea. Uh, usually I say it during the session or like uh, right at the end. When uh, I mean, I have down, four uh, willpower. Yeah. Let me see. I wrote my destiny. I got one. I think, yeah, I think it take a day because you gave one from my the things I did, one from destiny, and I still have one more. So yeah. You take that day. All right. Well, in that case, you should have uh, one extra. Uh, but you should also have another down already. Oh, I was I was asking more, just in case, so I can figure out what I should do. Um, because i uh, pretty sure I, I can't do the whole training, bam, twice in one day. Yeah. No. Uh. Probably not. Got the song out out of the way though. Yes, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure that would be very helpful. <laughs> but yeah, um, he's pumped. He's excited. You know, he's gonna be like uh, the TikTok dancer, like uh, a dance yeah. nurse. Except uh, he's he's not a nurse, uh, but uh, supposed to be a soldier, and uh, he's not even human. It's not a soldier yet, so it's the whole part of the training. Well, I guess uh, technically he is more of a warrior rather than uh, an outright soldier. He is a grunt. I will make a man out of him. Oh boy. Take him back to the shooting range. Still got my leadership. Alright, oh, so we want to, want to try to do it again? Yes. During the same day, huh? Oh, it is the same day? Well, not during the same day, I guess, but... Uh, uh, okay. I give him like 25 or 4 hours, I guess. Okay, and, uh, well, let's see. What did we do last time for roles for this? Uh, leadership. Yes, uh, that I don't remember, but I don't know the difficulty for it. Uh, uh, no, no, no. It was like a charisma leadership difficulty six. Yeah. Maybe yeah, let's let's uh, let's make it a seven because uh, oh, uh, oh yeah 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 it, it, it looks like it was uh, I could just scroll up and look at the dice rolls yeah I think it's like the 
Come on, Master Fan, that was done. That's the card to figure out. But yeah, either, a, either a 7 or a 5. I don't know which one was which. I mean, probably not the 5. That's, uh... I'm just looking at the two failures and I was just like, oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I uh, wrote it a 7, so... <coughs> uh, so we see um, anything special you want to do for this. This time, there will be no music, but we're gonna have proper targets. This is all... Like, I'm training him so he can fight anyone who happens to be, like, on a jet bike. Not a jet bike, uh, a jet pack. I don't want want them being... I don't want him being taken out the same way I took him out. Or maybe get, like, some floating balloons. Oh, so you want to, like... Uh... I, like hum well, balloons wouldn't actually work because uh, there's nothing for the balloons to float at, uh, since, you know, uh, Sirius doesn't really have like an atmosphere. But, uh, you know, you could probably get something like a drone or so, like a cheap drone or something you can shoot, uh, put like a, like a target on or something. Yeah, maybe like tie something up with Harper, because Harper can float. Well, yes, Harper can float, but uh, do you really want to like have it, have something shot at Harper? True. Even though sometimes he's not, not that useful. <laughs> maybe, re maybe I should reinforce uh, Harper a little bit there. But I don't really have matter. Yeah. I mean, you could always go and like try to pay someone uh, to do it for you. But Ems is not really around. No. You probably don't need some of the MSA skill to do this. Uh, I I just make like a drone that can float, that I can control, like an RV drone. Well, you. That way I can just have it move around, and he just goes pop pop pop. Yeah. Also, if you want to specifically make one, which is also possible, I guess uh, you can make a roll, or you can like take something from, something from storage. Or I mean, some, some sort yeah, of like could. garbage around. I'm sure we have some drones kicking around that I could. No, no one would mind if I just modify them. Yeah, probably. How the mer? I, I, I will even leave it for the marines when they come by. Okay. They would thank me. They'd be like, "Oh man, a new target for us." Thank you, John. Well, that's shooting at uh, at like a bunch of uh, I don't know, cans or something. But yeah, uh, I guess um, you can do that. Honestly, uh, you have like how many dice exactly? Uh, craft roll. If this is intelligence craft, I got fifteen. Yeah, uh, I don't think I will have you roll for that uh, modification. Yeah, because it's probably like difficulty three, anyways. Yes. Uh, so yeah, no, you can just like put it on and have like fly around. Uh, if you spend like just just a little time. And okay, I guess um, you can uh, roll. Charisma leadership. Yes, charisma leadership at seven. And uh, I guess you can. Yeah. You can see uh, if this goes well. Make money. I'm, I'm going to. I think that was also like oh, I'm not going to do the irritate thing I did before uh, I'm going to use a willpower okay thank god I used a willpower holy fucking shit okay well things uh, <coughs> things are not uh, well, as uh, good today maybe it's lack of music but, um, yeah, like, uh, success is limited, uh, but however, uh, Bam does hit the target a few times instead of, uh, well, trying to throw the, uh, the pistol or whatever you're using to train him. Actually, uh, uh, did, did you put in the, 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 the system yet in him? 
I, no, I have not put that in to him yet. Probably should. Yeah. Well, after we get this training done, we'll, we'll take him back to the doctor. Yeah. And I don't want to take up all the doctor's time. He's very busy with all of his experiments. Yes, uh, that's true. And yeah, um... Maybe that... Maybe th this makes me realize, maybe the problem is, uh, is, is the claws. He's a wolf man, not, not a man. Here I am getting him stuck having to pull a trigger. Exactly. That's a, that's a spirit. That's exactly what, uh, what, what science is all about. Yes, I have realized the whole flaw in this experiment already. Come on, Ben. We're gonna cut. We're gonna cut out shooting practice early today. We're gonna go see your friend, the doctor. Okay. Uh. Well. Hmm. How would he actually yeah, write this? Oh, yeah. He's. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of programming he is at. He probably uh, just like uh, n grunt affirmatively. Awesome. A doggy treat to get into the. I I'm assuming like I have like doggy treats around, so I could like just toss one into the, the moon hopper so he gets in. <laughs> I mean for for fun fun the uh, fun stakes uh, yes, but usually you wouldn't have, cause uh you know doggy treats are a luxury item. <laughs> it's too good for the likes of you. They they, they might not be they, they might be like a biscuit or something like. But he sees it like as a, a doggy treat. Mm. Okay, fair. Fair. Okay, and uh, well, I guess with that you can go and uh, fly to a doctor, which is, uh, I guess, the perfect opportunity to get to bacon. Oh, I've muted. Well. You will have some time before uh, Nick does his uh, more or less surprise visit, but uh, yeah, what are you up to in the meantime? Hmm, what I am up to? That's a very good question. Well, uh, probably after I am just knowing the numbers of amount of uh, terrorism in a can I need to have to kill the wolves it, I have to do what I hate the most no. I have to I have to talk with the merchants I need to sell my ship okay um anyone in particular you want to talk to mm. well, I have my friend's contact but I need to show Hmm. Fuck. Uh. What What do I know about uh, Jocelyn? Who? What do you know about Jocelyn? Well, for one, uh, sh you know that there's like some. Uh, there's like some. Uh, well, like stain on her, but uh, it'd probably not be uh, obvious what exactly it is. But, uh, you know, it does strike you as a bit weird, though, that someone like that is assigned to, like, a random place in space. With, uh, you know, all without any, like, uh, prior, prior knowledge uh, about some a position like that. And on top of it, uh, you know, you do know that uh, Sirius is kind of a place where fuck-ups uh, land. So, you know, those two things combined uh, probably doesn't bode too well. Hmm. But she did a lot of good to me, so like, she's trying to prove herself, and I, uh, it, it's a risky move, but, but I don't want to depend totally on Futao. Hmm. Uh, makes sense. Uh, although I would like to remind you, which you would be aware of uh, in character, which you might have forgotten Futao out of character. Has, uh, Futao has money issues. Well, that too, but, um, <laughs> but uh, there's actually someone else, uh, that you do know of. It has, has like a face that do that is in charge of her, uh, like uh, doing the business stuff uh, for your settlement of uh, Gripnoi. 
I mean, yeah, I know, but I that's the point. I need to show a strong face. I need to show, oh, here I have a lot of money to invest. So, yeah, we can work together and have this much capital, you know? Yeah. Because if I say, oh, yeah, I have to sell my ship to fund our endeavor, it's less powerful. I'm showing a weakness. You know, that's uh, definitely reasonable. Um. Okay. Uh. Uh, oh yeah, before I forget, um, like during the day, um, you're probably gonna get uh, a message uh, from someone. Uh, well, that's someone that's uh, called uh, Make Your God. He was like, I think he, will be, yeah, I think he was already introducing you, but uh, yeah, um, I heard about him. Yes, uh, but essentially he wants to have a meeting with you at uh, at some point. Uh, I think like the next few weeks, well, preferably uh, days. Um, he's like three more. Uh, he can make time uh, pretty much uh, many time. So it's up to you. But uh, yeah, it's it's does seem a bit important, and he does want to uh, make sure that uh, you know certain deals uh, are being being made before uh, <coughs> before uh, well business can commence. Right, actually, yeah. I, if I'm going to do administration, might as well give him a call right now. Yeah. Uh, also, as a side note, you would uh, you would be aware that uh, this dude uh, is associated with the ones uh, that are doing this, the prospecting on your world, like the uh, like the, the the business deals. Um, okay. Question: uh, Where do you want to do this? Like. Uh, in your office or wait wait so uh he's like the lawyer of the guys that are investing in my business right uh sort of it's like not quite clear what uh, the exact position is uh but you do okay, know that, okay. he, that he's involved and you do know that he's like part of the um uh like the, the financiers which are kind of like the people that uh you know getting the money essentially they generate capital that's a that's a that's a job as a Job of his uh, like subgroup. Okay. All right. No. Yeah. Let's go through him. He's a good contact. Okay. Um. Well. Do you want to do this in the in the control in room? In the office. In the office. In the okay. Office. okay. Well, there's the office. Okay. Well. Just go to and go. And uh, feel free to drag yourself out while I take out Mercury. Uh, where do I have them? Ah, Syndicate. None of the forces, finances. There we go. And you see uh, st a friendly looking man with a. Uh, uh, well, with a bit of a grey gray hair, and uh, that uh, uh. immediately starts rubbing his hand as he sees you. Uh, 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 one question Does he has? Uh, a long nose, baggy eyes, a long neck, and a large forehead. Wow, you can see the picture yourself. He certainly has a large forehead. Uh, yeah, nice. actually, let me let me use the identification powers to s really see uh, his, uh, if he's a West German or not. Oh, God, so shit quality. But, uh, yeah. He I could see him being a West German. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, Mr. Gould. Uh, I know that uh, that was probably uh, earlier than expected, but uh, I was doing some uh, accounting for... Uh, my business and uh, it was the perfect opportunity to talk with you now that I was away from my experiments <clears throat> that is oh, that's quite alright I <clears throat> I was hoping you would call uh, sooner rather than later anyways so um well I guess uh, we should get started on uh, what uh, you want Uh, 
call, uh, I thought that you wanted something because uh, you asked me to call you, but actually that's perfect. Uh, from what I know, uh, you are being associated uh, with the uh, fun, uh, uh, the my new business partners and uh, also from the group you are within the uh, syndicate, I think you would be the perfect uh, person to uh, help him with something to make our business work too well. Uh, my suppositions are correct, right? Yes, uh, yes, that's what I'm... Um, well, that's what I was hoping to talk with you, yeah. But, uh, since you called this early, I assumed you uh, were... Uh, you had some uh, something in mind yourself. Yes, you see, uh, I was trying to do things slowly, get cash slowly, but uh, a good investment is something that you start quick and strong. No, you can't just leave to see how uh, the things are going. If your product don't sell, just put lots of money in propaganda. It will sell, this sort of idea. So uh, due to some... Uh, Decent opportunities and things that happened. Uh, I got a way to get a very quick cash flow within uh, the uh, the project. Uh, I just look at my paper from my estimates. The cash flow should be something around uh, um, uh, a billion dollars. Uh, that's yes, yes. That's quite a Something sum. around. Yes, you see, uh, recently, uh, having uh, a fight with uh, some uh, space threats. I suppose you heard how uh, we, uh, weird to say that now, but we void engineers are dealing with uh, some thing known as threat now, very dangerous enemies. Uh, yes, I uh, heard. They use uh, uh they use uh, a light procedure so uh, that yes, can counter our own. Yes, it's uh it, it is some it's not pure ED, it's actually enlightened procedures and uh, we managed to take down one of their ships and uh capture it. Although uh it was extremely Corrupted and not suitable for uh, technocracy use. Uh, my good friend, uh, Mr. Hydeberry, it's a wonderful engineer, and we work together to purify it and make it in a proper uh, technocratic vessel. It's completely functional. I already use sometimes, and I'm I'm thinking on selling it. Although um, we are probably going to uh, remove some t of the armaments to keep the uh, our base is more protected here on series, but just uh, the armaments are not that much. Like they are, are at most uh, 400 million. Uh, the ship itself should be something like 136 uh, million. No, wait, no, no. no. I said wrong. No, it's one point thirty-six billion uh, to ship in total. Hmm. So yeah, it will go down a bit. Uh, it, but armaments, it's any uh, void engineer or uh, any other uh, part of the union that gets a ship, uh, they can put their own armaments. Hard is actually getting the whole. Well, as a uh, long year. We need to contractually uh, assure that uh, this is indeed uh, a vessel within uh, technocratic standards. I can see, uh, I can see this uh, deal working out. Yes, I can. Uh, for making things better, I can have uh, not only uh, my uh, my. W word or signature or proof of a guarantee as well as Mr. Hydeberry and uh, our commander uh, Noah what's Noah's full name again? Well, Noah Moran and uh, our commander Noah Moran Hmm 
um, impressive uh, impressive assortment of uh, an, uh, names you have there. Well, that uh, should work just fine, I suppose. I assume you want my help in uh, selling it. Yes. Uh, I would. I would love to uh, make my image better doing it myself, but I'm not stupid enough to ruin possible business and profit trying to do something I don't have the contacts and the knowledge for. So yes, I will be uh, counting on you as you are a part of this business. Uh, you would uh, help me with that and uh, uh, take a very it is a reasonable cut as commissions of course. Oh yes, so uh, well about that <coughs> you see, um, <coughs> I'm not exactly interested in uh, in money in this case, but rather uh, something else. Um, uh, to uh, properly set up uh, our operations, we wish uh, wish uh, for certain rights uh, to be enforced. Uh, on uh, Gripnoi, which uh, should be within uh, your purview to grant. Ideally, we want also uh, uh, Mr. Moran to sign off on it, so as to uh, uh, as to make sure that there will be no veto from the higher ups. However, uh, well, that uh, will be uh, more as uh, something uh, we consider optional. Well, uh, of course, uh, as long as uh, these rights, well, I was going to say as long as they go against the, uh, uh, go against human rights or something like that, uh, but honestly, I don't care about them, so uh, what's, what's the gist? Uh. Well, um, <coughs> well, uh. What uh, what what is the guest uh, indeed? Uh, the guest of it is uh, fairly simple actually. Uh, first of all, we want to open up uh, our own <coughs> our own uh, stock market on uh, Gribnoi to make sure that uh, well, really uh, anyone in the uh, in the union can invest. I believe uh, this has been brought up to you before. Um, well, we're not quite sure exactly who's going to be leading it, uh, but there is a good chance that it might uh, end up being me if I can make the time. Additionally, I wa we want uh, some property uh, for us to build our headquarters. The exact details uh, we can discuss later, but uh, what we need uh, is uh, a place for well, our, uh, our important personnel to, uh, to stay, meaning uh, we need to build some uh, some sort of housing, and of course the uh, facilities there where they will be operating out of. Ideally, some sort of uh, well, office buildings uh, of some kind. And uh, well, which brings us to another issue. Um, we also bring want to bring in uh, part of our own uh, security forces as to protect those uh, places. <coughs> Simply some um, some uh, contractors uh, back from Earth. Uh, should do. All right. Uh, they're all extremely reasonable. Uh, for the making a open investment, it was actually a. Uh, I was going to bring that up later. I, I had a plan. Like, if you even see the presentation I made, uh, I had a plan to, of making a. Uh, a, a corporation for getting the investors, but the invest uh, the in I managed to get investors before setting up that. But yes, it would be good for everyone if uh, for extra capital. Yes, for sure you can get the space for buildings, but uh, on the point of private security for uh, safety due to. Uh, place it is uh they can they can come for sure but probably they will have to be uh 
strictly uh, regulated. Not sure this regulated is proper word, but uh, uh, verified, and uh, they should uh, in cases of uh, emergency within either cities or uh, Grimnoi follow orders from or the superiors in the void engineer, even if it's just f go to specific evacuation points to protect uh, any uh, any of your people on the place. Ah, that sounds reasonable enough. I heard uh, that uh, such protocols are pretty widespread uh, as it is, so that suits us just fine. Um, yeah. Well, additionally, I should mention there is uh, also a possibility that we might uh, we might need uh, even more uh, well, property to build uh, a second uh, firm. Well, we're not, as I said, it's not quite sure who's going to be leading the. Uh, the stock market, but uh, for sure we will also uh, create uh, create a company uh, for, or rather, that's a more subsidiary um, uh, for uh, well consulting, as uh, as the current plan is, uh, as I believe you should be informed, uh, to have uh, contractors uh, back from uh, the mud board to uh, move in to well. Do the various uh, jobs that need 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 doing. Yeah, uh, it was even around uh, uh, from my talks uh, with the uh, what's the name of the guy again? Let me see. The young investor. Uh, did I note down his name? No, I don't care uh, about him enough to note down. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I can tell you the name uh, once I b manage to scroll down. Because I noted it on in some notes. Let's see. The Society. Da da da. Menagerie. No. There it is. Thunder Society Settlement. And I have it. Yeah. Anthony oh, Booker. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, from my talks with uh, Mr. Uh, Anthony. Uh, I think I read some some uh, contracted workers are on their way to s building contract workers but yeah uh, that can be easily solved with this extra flux of cash I'm putting on it things will accelerate so uh, I'm going to make some sort of uh, city plant you can inform me how many buildings would be necessary and I can try to accommodate them into a basic city project so uh, when it grows it uh, we can make that at this important building stay on a more uh, central administrative part instead of growing organically in another way and uh, you guys get some very shit land on like some sort of slums you know uh, of course so uh, that makes sense <coughs> Hmm. Well, that uh, brings me to another issue. It seems the uh, building capacity is uh, quite limited uh, on, on Gripnoi as it is. And while uh, we of course favor <coughs> a cost efficient solution, it might be wise uh, to uh, aid the, uh, the uh, build up of a tech construction company by investing into it uh, as early as uh, we can <coughs> as uh, I believe that will be our first uh, bottleneck uh, to overcome as uh, Indeed it will and uh, importing materials will be problematic but uh, well I have some uh, what's the name prospector giving a look around some areas so we can probably find some building materials uh, uh, from what I remember uh, uh, they were talking something about, about possibly being some limestone and so we can uh, with some small investment get something uh, like some cement production locally to ease the cost of uh, imported materials and uh, we can hmm. I can get other ways to try to make process more efficient as we go but that's why 
I'm doing the initial cash uh, injection. I want to get the construction up, up and running. If it starts, uh, things will go more uh, easily. Oh, that makes uh, that's, uh, that's a wise choice. Uh. I'm almost sad that we uh, had no chance uh, to uh, to snipe you for our convention. And he gives you a smile. Well, I, honestly, I I couldn't random that. Uh, biology and science uh, is my passion. I just I only do this sort of thing because it's necessary. Mm. I couldn't handle that more than uh, four hours a day. Yeah, that's uh, just fine. Well, there's uh, uh, one thing that came att to my attention recently um it seems that uh, one of your colleagues uh, has created a permanent uh, connection between uh, his base and uh, one of the resupply points the main resupply points in fact back uh, to earth which uh, might be a big factor in cutting cost for us uh, indeed it's was actually uh, from the talks uh, and uh, messaging I saw from uh, him and other colleagues uh, and ac actually amps, uh, would other construct managers know of the future train project? Amps? What, the train project? <laughs> that yeah. should be public knowledge as far as I'm aware but you might have to ask Ally because he's the one who <laughs> Well, no, he's not yeah. here. Get, he he gets fucked. So yeah, I would <laughs> say yeah. Uh, even uh, he, he's even uh, thinking on working with uh, uh another one, uh, a cooperation between uh, Hydeberry and Samuel to uh, build a train system connecting out the bases. So uh, it would be even more useful on the long run. Uh, the connection to Mister Samuel base and then the uh, the portal to the uh, it is supply base of having a train, so we could get things. Things will only get better for getting materials. <clears throat> that uh, would be excellent. Uh, however, um, I've uh, supported such projects uh, uh, quite often uh, back on Earth, uh, and uh, I believe uh, the such a project should take uh, quite a while. Uh, what well, to build? Yes. Probably it's probably going to take a month or two. Well, sometimes it takes even more than that. I'm not exactly about the solution you envision, uh, but uh, once you have an estimate on how, m uh, on what time frame we can work with, uh, uh, I would like to be the first uh, among the first to be informed. I will keep you updated on uh, how their project is, but yeah, uh, things are looking bright and yeah, we, even if we try to do uh, some inefficient parts in the beginning, it, it's going to to be better, so yes, uh, I only see a bright uh, future uh, for our project. Mm, indeed, I do as well. It will probably take a few years until we have uh, fully, uh, this project has fully blossomed, but uh, I don't think uh, we will be wanting too much, <coughs> even uh, after a few months. Um, which brings me to uh, another issue. Uh, well, uh, have you put any thoughts into uh, uh, the civilian administration as a uh, there will be quite a few civilians, uh, barely, uh, well, barely technocracy as far as I understand. It uh, is a cheap solution and efficient. However, it also means uh, that uh, we need to accommodate uh, them with uh, some sort of, uh, well, semblance of uh, normalcy. Additionally, uh, well, I believe in the long run this will also mean that our work will be easier as we have uh, essentially outsourced uh, 
much of the work required in running uh, uh, any any settlement projects. Mm. <coughs> but uh, it will also mean that we will have uh, less direct control. Uh, you bring a very important point that I, I really didn't think much but uh, I believe I can uh, come up with a solution for that. You see, uh, hmm. Yes, yes. For uh, because, well, uh, we are at the union, and uh, if the population gets higher, we all know that uh, the people will want to be represent represented. Yes. But uh, I think I think I can. Uh, I have some good ideas that uh, will give them uh, a f false hope, uh, like false uh, image of representation. While we are, while keep the power, you know, like the real American experience. Uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, you see, like um, actually, give me like some um, perception empathy. Just at a six. Uh, what should I roll for him? Yeah, sure, that seems like a good roll. I have intuitive, so that's one success. Yeah. Let's see, how much does he get? <coughs> yeah, no. Okay. And yeah, it seems like, uh... It seems like, uh, you know, as, uh, as you say this, uh... <coughs> it seems like uh, he uh, he's not happy with uh, with the term terms being used, and um, well, he's still speaking up. <coughs> well, as you know, Mister uh, Mister Stanek, <coughs> we uh, we the syndicate uh, do not condone any uh, oppressive uh, actions at all, and uh, and do you think? Uh, Proper conduct uh, should be kept. Um, well, thoughts, hope. Uh, well, there are certain business advantages. This is not uh, the kind of uh, organization we run. All right, all right. I will keep this thing out of the American team. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, for now, um, I do believe. Uh, the easiest way to do things would be by simple by simply using uh, locally appointed uh, mayors or mayorships rather, which uh, we might mm. have later to transform into something uh, more of a governing body. But uh, for now, small uh, think village based. Uh, I think. Yes. I think something better than mayor is, uh, you know how workers are and uh, also trying to not be Americans uh, we could set up them like uh, have have them set up some sort of trade union to represent there's like sort of uh, social thing like you know you have the builders being represented by a leader builder anything like that and we just make a, some sort of council with all these uh uh, trade union representatives, so they will probably all be happy because it's, you know, trade union usually workers like them a lot, and we set up some sort of council body to like decide things, and uh, we can have some sort of uh, like president elected that works with this council, you know. Mm hmm. I see. <coughs> An interesting proposal. Um, uh, I would like to note that, uh, well, in the past, uh, unions have been, uh, well, really detrimental to. No, no, it, I, I know how bad they get. Uh, that's why I bring it this way, you know, because if they do this way, make sure that. Uh, the workers are happy and the unions are working with us for the good of Gribnoi. They are not busy fighting against us, you know, and uh, 
when things grow, they are going to appear. It's inevitable. So we just need to uh, make make sure that they are structured in a way that uh, don't harm our project and uh, give them a sense of uh, good representation, happiness in the workplace, and uh, it also allows, uh, honestly, it's effective way of you know, administration because I don't think we're going to have enough regions to have mayors and but it could also work in this level if the population starts to spread well <clears throat> that's uh, certainly true but uh, that, that this uh, could work um, however <clears throat> well where well, the four advantage of mayors would be that uh, their influence uh, would be uh, limited to one uh, one settlement at a time and uh, <coughs> if uh, one of them does not uh, comply with us uh, well there's always uh, there's always uh, the the chance of uh, the market uh, correcting itself and uh, well business is moving out of uh, the settlement in question ideally uh, of course uh, in the beginning this would not happen as uh, that could be uh, can't count at uh, being uh, really detrimental to the project at large. Hmm. <coughs> However, uh, as uh, time goes on, our options will only expand. <coughs> right. Yeah. I I see your point. I. It's not my best subject, but um, in my free time, uh, I will write something up, some sort of administration. I have it. It is, it is bringing me some good ideas, but yeah, I'll I'll keep that in mind. It will not matter for a while. And thank you for bringing that point up. I will make sure it, when population beer gets to this point, we already have something set up. Uh, excellent, excellent. And uh, about the point of where it reaches, uh, where well, it could reach it. Uh, well, I do believe. Uh, <coughs> that uh, if our initial investment is large enough that we could get uh, easily at least a hundred people on Gripnoi, uh, simply civilians of course um, within the first uh, few months even <coughs> which uh, well do necessitate uh, we're talking about it uh, now uh, forgive my uh, Forgive my hesitation when it comes to uh, unions, <coughs> but uh, well, I, d I do have. Uh, I might be a bit biased against them. No, it's understandable. You bring a very good point. Uh, I brought some points. Uh, I will. I will try to like study and think in efficient ways to deal that. Maybe read some administration books, consult with other people, you know. It's a new land, so we should have the perfect opportunity to try something new and efficient. <coughs> yes, uh, of course. We'll see. We'll see. But now nothing is uh, set in stone, and uh, I'm sure not only myself but uh, everyone involved in this project is uh, willing to be flexible as uh, <coughs> uh, as needed. Well then, um, I guess it was a pleasure to talk to you. I do hope uh, we will be able to uh, meet again uh, uh, in the near future. Um, I will be I will be one of the people that uh, will be moving for to Gripnoi for sure. Just my position will not be uh, it's not determined uh, just yet. I suppose. Right, yeah, out. Yes. No, continue, continue. It's fine for cutting you. Well, I was about to uh, 
make myself scarce and get some preparation on the way. And uh, it's well. a, it's, it's a pleasure talking to you, and yeah, so I'll, I'll try to have another meeting soon, as long as nothing goes wrong on the, the space side. We should be able to talk like very, very soon. Don't worry. Of course, and uh, well, I suppose uh, also would be wise uh, to send me the technical specification of the ship so I can make sure that uh, the legal arrangements will be to your benefit. Alright, uh, I, I will send them to you. Excellent. And then uh, the screen goes dark. Okay, and uh, well, is there anything else you want to do before uh, Nick shows up? Well, I just wanted to sell the ship and sell myself to my soul to the to the devil. All right, uh, all right, that seems fine. Okay, and uh, hmm, now that I got this permission up, uh, I can actually get something uh, going on with Allied later down the line, and uh, probably should go. <coughs> well, we should go and uh, not the uh, admin stuff properly down, I guess. So essentially, there's a conflict uh, between like uh, having like some some union set up versus uh, well having mayors. And yeah, uh, so selling uh, the idea of. Uh, of unions to an, to an, to some American lawyer and businessman is probably not gonna work that well. No, uh, don't worry. I'm going to use the study case of uh, post. Uh, what's the name of the uh, post? Uh, Deng Xiaoping China and how efficiently and how it's super, uh, so like winning the global. Mar uh, uh, global economic fight against the US and how their system is so efficient we could do something inspired than that uh, yeah I mean that, that would actually be not a bad sell but yeah I guess it's uh, something for the next meeting and uh, I guess now uh, since you don't have anything and uh, Nick can show up. Canadian, uh, are you here? Yes. Good, good. Uh, well, when I get like closer to his base, I just like send a notification that I'm need clearance to land. Because I want to make this kind of out of now. John is just like, oh yeah, I figured out the problem now. Alright, uh, uh, I. I an emergency science session. I just sent a message. Hangar is occupied. Your ship is really small. It just land outside. It has space. Don't worry. Good. I was planning to double park anyways. All right. Um. So, question: uh, Would you guys go direct to the lab or somewhere else first? Uh, I guess to the lab. There we go. Into the lab. Oh, fucking uh, apps is here again. I guess the project to kill uh to kill Randos and yeah uh. Feel free to drag out Bam if you can. I think I've given you permission for his sheet. You're wrong. You, you have it. That's drag so sad. I'll accept it as Basito. I guess I'm gonna do that now. Ah, oh, fuck. 
Were you up or down? Huh, you were up. Let's see. So you know you should be able to. No. Really? It's the one in Menagerie, right? Yeah. And like it should be on all uh, all, all player journals, and it should also be edited and controlled by uh, you. No. Weird. Like I, I, I can see his sheet. Like I can see his dots. I just can't pull them out. Weird. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do it. I gotta figure it uh, out later. Point. Okay, and uh, well, you entered a lap, uh, flanked by uh, your big uh, badass uh, guardian. Doctor, I'm an idiot. All right, I uh, do, I don't want to say that I already knew that. That would be very rude. Why you're an idiot? Well, you see, I was trying to teach Ben here how to shoot a gun, but uh, he was having a lot of difficulty learning how to do it. Then I realized guns are made for, you know, us. Our fingers. Well, he's got big, mean claws. And his big, mean claws. I pick one up and like show it to him. All right. How is so it? You... How is he gonna pull a trigger? Well, so you're going to make a custom gun for him, or we are going to shop his arms and put a gun on it? Yeah, we're we're gonna be shoving a, a gun in that arm. Maybe uh, we can keep some of the claws there, so it can. In case he needs to use it as like a bayonet. You know, we don't give him, he doesn't need all the claws. Maybe we can take some of them and use them as trophies. We do not it's... want a kick ass, cool werewolf talon, like knife or something. <laughs> Uh, uh, honestly, I mean, it's a bit rude to just cut the claws in a bit ways, but I I think he ha having gun arms is like it would be better. Just you no, know, he's open his hands and uh, there is a barrel under it, or uh, he just ooh, we could put one on his chest. That would be very unexpected. He could do like hmm. He just wait. Have him be right back in a moment. He just runs away, he goes to his room, and he returns with a, a, what looks to you like a comic, comic book. He could be like this, and uh, he shows you a picture of uh, the German doctor from Jojo, and he turns into a machine guy. What's his name? Uh, he was uh, Stronheim, yes. Oh my god. Stronheim. Oh yeah, you, maybe uh, I was thinking of having it over the hand. But we can go with under the hand and coming out the palm. That's... Remove some of the unnecessary muscle tissue. Sh shave down a little bit of the armor, you know. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, uh, I, I guess I have some some time to do anything quick if you want. That, that's the picture I show you. <clears throat> okay. No, no. Uh, yeah, chest guns are stupid. Gotta put them in the arms. Yeah. That's a quick reminder. Um. I can think. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna copy this. I just like the system uh, that's uh, that uh, Nick already procured. Uh, 
and it would just be a regular implant? Yes, uh, there's not going to exactly a cost uh, associated with it, but uh, it's going to be like two successes, uh, and uh, you're going to pretend it's like a normal cybernetic. And uh, you know, it's not going to cost him any points in uh, particular, since he has like already some, some stuff going on. In that regard, just you know, you doing the work essentially. Alright, so now let's just operate him. Okay. Then, uh, I last operated him recently, so I still remember a bit how his body is from the inside. Yeah. It would be then a uh, true life, true matter? Or true life, true matter, I don't remember. Uh, it's still like a life 4 effect. Oh, but uh, four. only like a matter 2 effect. Right. Um, let's see, successes wise. 3 base successes, yes, uh, 6 on others. So, you would be like you're looking at 8 successes in total. Right. Oof, I'm rolling at a 5. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah. So, that's 6. Holy oh, shit. That's 11. You don't have a specialty in life? Yes, I have. That's why 6 and 11. I have improvement. And. Obviously, putting gun arms on someone, it's an improvement. Oh, so... Wouldn't that be like 14 then? Why? Oh, oh, wait, no, sorry, I, I'm being stupid. Never mind. I, I, I thought the first roll was an error tear roll. I, I, I'm dumb. No. Yeah, okay. Now that works just fine. And, uh, congratulations. With just a few... With just a few cuts, uh, you manage to uh, uh, implant him with uh, this nice uh, weapon system. Oh. Are you gonna stick with the arm, or are you gonna put it uh, somewhere else? No, it it will be more efficient in the arm. Like shotgun, gun, it, it sounds funny, but it's impossible to aim. Okay. With that the arm, sense. he can like put like use his. Uh, his head to aim, you know, just put on the into the side, put on the sides. Yeah. Plus, at some point, I won't put like a nuclear bomb in there or something, in case anyone ever actually kills him. I want to make sure they die in the process. I mean, he's very big. We can like uh, replace his uh, like stomach and intestines, you know, from like we just put a, a bag that feeds him. And then we have a, a lot of empty, empty space there. You could put something like, I don't know, a fridge. So you always have a beer with you. Yeah. I'm sure we got a spare weapon of mass destruction kicking around somewhere. That we can put in once he's fully conditioned. Uh, well, do you want to buy a weapon of mass destruction? I have some of those around. Like, uh, it's... Uh, that box there on the turret shelf on the right. Uh, Doctor, you can't get me. But, uh, not, not, and he still needs, a. he still needs a bit more training before we trust him with something that big. Yeah, it would also be not a very good weapon if you're planning to use it if he is defeated. I'm hoping. He dies, he opens up a weakness. You know. The boom finishes it off. Yeah, a boom is better than turning everything into angry mushrooms that will start stabbing people to death. You don't have, like, some super e-boil eye or something? I have flesh cheating bacteria. Yeah, but that would only be useful against stuff with flesh. Yes. Yeah. Why can't we just have all, our, all of our enemies be the same? It would just make our lives so much easier. It would be too boring. You have to have variety on your life. Well, could they at least come at one at a, at a time so we could pre prepare? This one's flash, this, this one's metal, this one's some spirit thing so annoying 
It's life. Well, uh, we still have some time. You want me to do any surgery on you? I I'm good. I'm already enhanced enough. Mm, it could always be more, but whatever. Uh, have a nice day. I, I don't think my mind could handle much more. Look how big my brain is already. Because I didn't like this. Imagine, like, John, like, looks like the aliens from Star Trek with the big brains. We could the increase your, your cranium even more. I'm at maximum. But we could always make it bigger. Just look at the picture Rodoma posted. We can make it that big. If you scroll up, oh, you just type oh. inside soon. Yeah. I don't want to become like the big giant head. <laughs> it's okay, it's it, it just, it just cut her head off and put in like a jar. And put a a big robot out like with it with the jar on it. Oh, oh, whatever that the head. If you ever seen this show. No, never seen it. Posted a picture. That head. What? What the fuck? The, the, the purple guy would live inside his head. That's a bit cursed. Anyways, I, I gotta go take uh, them here back to the, the fire array. Yes, yes, go, go try if there's any issues with the, the, the gun arm, bring him back for maintenance. Say goodbye to the doctor, Bam. Uh, bye bye Oh, look, his first word! Actually, that, that that's actually kind of ominous now, too. Well, uh, first what's relative, like, he does pick up some stuff, but he does, like, not properly speak it. He knows how to repeat stuff, though. Yeah, but it's still kind of ominous, like, he just gave him a gun, there's this big honky, honking, like, werewolf warrior saying bye-bye. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Oh, well, goodbye, Ben. Uh... It's, uh, have, have fun with your gun arm, you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Now you can take out assholes and jetpacks. Goddamn. You know, one day he's just gonna, like, take you out. This <laughs> is, you know. Yeah, he's just looking at you and, uh... Last word to hear, uh, that this, this is, this is for my tribe, boom. Well, he's gonna have another session with a car battery, that's all. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess it's, uh, no time to switch over to M's. Hello. How is everybody doing? Fine. Uh, do we have extra spines today? Yes, we do. Yes. I think uh, Vicious Love probably has a billion of those laying around. But yeah. Um, actually, one thing uh, for you directly. Um, Richard is uh, coming up to you directly in the morning. And uh, pulls out a gun. Oh gosh. Well, they should. <laughs> that would be funny. But no, um, his, uh, his actions are quite, uh, quite simple. He just wants to talk. Uh, good morning, uh, boss man. Well, good morning, Richard. 
How have you been? I've been fine. I wanted to ask you if uh, you c uh, if uh, someone uh, if you would be willing to like uh, host someone here for a little bit. I'm not sure what uh. the exact time frame. But uh, someone wants to do a project uh. Uh, which requires some external help. And uh, this place uh, is uh, one of the few places that has some space left over. Mm, it does have some few space left over, but I kind of need to know who this person is. Because wow. we, we don't want to let any like strangers in, if you know what I mean. Uh, he's a uh, sort of uh, a colleague uh, of mine. He's uh, he's coming in on uh, on the business of uh, well, mind sciences f to help out with a rather interesting project uh, back at Piyoko, uh, potentially. Anyways. Okay. Um, okay. Like Lewis uh, wants to do some uh, uh, project uh, uh, that uh, will allow soldiers to fight longer. Okay. That. How he does thinks and it's just like, honestly, that actually sounds like a really. How can I say? That sounds. An interesting concept, but I feel that might the execution of it. It could work out, but it needs to be very precise. Hmm. Yeah, that it does. Uh, but uh, the the expert uh, is uh, quite capable. I can assure you. Um, also, I'm so um, out of character. Give me like some uh, yeah. uh, perception, uh, subterfuge, or empathy. Uh, difficulty six. It's gonna be contested. He's bringing in another Bowie, isn't he? Most likely. <laughs> I was gonna ask which um, because uh, we kind of already know he's from the Iteration X, but which faction? <laughs> ah, first off. Uh... Yep, yeah, I got a bad one. Yeah. Well, uh, can always throw worse. Uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, no, it just seems uh, legit to you. Uh, did you ask about conventional uh, method methodology? Uh, let's see. I think it was the the, the biomechanics, but uh, I'm gonna check. Yeah, I was gonna be like, uh, which convention within the iteration X? Just uh, detail reasons. Yes. Yeah, so, well, he's a uh, he's a uh, part of the biomechanics. So. Uh, Methodology. Okay. Good. Um, uh, is he in turn? I'm going to have to assume this colleague is experienced. Well, in terms of space, right? Uh, Just looks at it. Uh, or has he been on the um, Earth for for very long time? Oh well, uh, actually I actually don't know if you ha if he's been to space before. I just know that he is uh, quite experienced as a as a technocrat in general, which uh, probably means that he is uh, that he is uh, in yes that he is uh, somewhat uh, experienced in space, but uh, I don't know for sure. Um. But uh, yeah, okay. that's that's all I can say, unfortunately. Okay. Um. <coughs> that, that is um fair enough. Um. I'm very persuaded. I'm very persuaded by your presentation of this individual. Um, well, can you tell me who was his name? So, you know, cause do remember, I also have to file this as a paperwork as well, in case 
my boss asks who he is. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, <coughs> his name is. Um, <coughs> uh, his name is uh, Alexander Smith. Okay, Alexander Smith. Uh, just um, just memorizes that name. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to file the paperwork for him to, you know, crash it. I'll let you know if there's any hiccups when it comes to the um, when he when he's allowed to do because I need permission for this sort of thing. Because I need permission from the higher ups, hmm. just in particular. Sure, sure. Oh, I mean, it's good enough that you already uh, are willing to consider it. Uh, that's that's uh, not uh, exactly a given, boss man. Yeah. Okay. Um, it sounds like good. So I'll just go ahead and file in the paperwork. Do do do. Oh. And he just goes on his tablet and just types it. All right, perfect. Uh, perfect. He won. He won the dice roll, so I, I'm not gonna like meta game this. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Good. I have to respect the dice roll. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, it's uh essentially just a traveling name uh, of his. Uh, to be Alexander Smith instead of Alexander Bowie, but uh, I, 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 I know. Problem is, he got three successes, so yeah. Is it really another Bowie? It is. D don't worry. Oh. When I do, when I do see his face, um, there's gonna be some talking too. <laughs> uh, well, um, I'm afraid uh, that he does have life. Uh, he will probably show up with a different face. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is what he normally looks that. like. Uh... <laughs> God fucking damn it. Oh, <laughs> oh God. God damn it. Okay, okay, prop, props to you, props to you. Oh, uh, well. I'm clapping, I'm clapping. <laughs> well, you made uh... the... I don't know, it looks beautiful. <laughs> you made a picture, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to actually use it. I know, it was nice making it too. Yeah. Also, as a side note, like, there's no proper, um... Like that's sort of sort of the character. It's like more like a background character, where I still can not yeah. that stuff. Uh, but you know, if it, if it becomes necessary, I will probably start him out. Uh, it's just gonna be like a giant pain, because he has like a lot of XP. You don't need to start him out now. You can do it. You can wait some time for that. He should have a monocle. He should have a monocle. That's true. From it clear enough, his eyes do look like they need a monocle. He uses that as his tool. Mm hmm. Well, also I hope uh, like you 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 enjoy this uh, memory. I do. Okay. So Alexander Smith, iteration X, biomechanic. What other details did he falsely led me on? <laughs> Oh well, uh, mostly that uh, that he's like a colleague uh, because technically he isn't like a, he's not just his colleague. It's uh, he's also his uh, well, like his his patron essentially. Like he's being sponsored okay. by this. Did did this one boy sponsors the other boy? Okay. But yeah, okay. That's not exactly something he uh, told you about. You know, technically, technically it's true that he's a colleague, but uh, you know, that's like, uh, that, that's like, that's like, that's like, uh, you know, uh, comparing two cars and saying like they're they're both cars. Why one is a fucking Ferrari, the other one is I don't know. 
like a like a Humvee. <sighs> I don't blame him. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And yeah, and yeah, to the fighting past death thing uh, will be uh, will be quite possible, I'm afraid. And that that's gonna be uh, and <laughs> that's gonna be uh, you know, despairing. Like uh, he wants to like a uh, cock block it with a uh, bureaucracy, but uh, yeah, just a few calls. A few uh, calls. Yeah, I did. that can all unravel. <laughs> yep. Okay. And the fun thing is, Alexander Bowie probably knows a lot more about the Void Engineers if he truly wants, if he truly sets his mind out. If you know what I mean. Oof. I mean, he could. He could. He definitely could. Uh, but I'm gonna give him, or give him, give him some leniency because, uh, you know, like. The Void Engineers work with other conventions uh, on a regular basis, and the uh, secret hasn't been properly uncovered yet. So, I think there's something to be said about, uh, you know, the Void Engineers somehow uh, not uh, uh, not being investigated too much, or or rather, I, I think uh, it's, you know. I think it's just the higher ups from like across the factions just like say, keep this silent, we can't actually have this spread. <laughs> Mm. It affects our indoctrination. Or he has the Bowie clones infiltrate all the conventions. He knows all the. That's how he knows everything. <laughs> oh and he God. probably does, to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah. Didn't even know I was a sleeper agent from an even greater Bowie. I mean, you know, that, that that's the best kind of sleeper agent. The one that doesn't know he has one. Manchurian candidate, one they say. Exactly. Bow is all the way down. I, I bet you money at the end, like quarter of our population is just going to be Bowies. Yes. We, we just, just go back to Earth and it's just all Bowies. Including the Davy Bowie. Yes, uh, well, actually, you know, like final, uh, like the final, uh, like final session, there's a big reveal. Like, Noah pulls down his mask, it's, uh, it's actually Noah, Noah Boy. And, uh, you know, at the other, Daniel pulls down her mask, and, uh, well, it's Daniela Boy, and, uh, so on and so forth. The boy is everywhere. Hi, pulls off his mask. Hi, I'm Hi, Boy. Yes. I was you, but older. <laughs> it's all Bowie's, always has been. <clears throat> okay, uh, but yeah. Mm -mm. That would be a perfect opportunity for... Uh, okay, whatever, whatever. Uh, let's see. So, uh, what do you plan to do during the day after this lovely meeting with Richard Boy? Okay. After filing the paperwork, because you know, essentially sending the information to, you know, Noah to, well, essentially filing the paperwork, and you know, enough to cover my ass in case something goes awry. And probably, uh, let's see, I know what I wanted to do. Okay. I'm, all right. Yeah, I know what I want to do. I actually want to do a fun scientific ex experiment. Actually. Oh. Where? Okay. I'm gonna call. Hold on. Does Does John Bowie have time? Uh. Well, I don't know from top of my head. Yes. Oh, I guess that's. Uh... Yes, I do. Uh, how much time do you have? Three. Yes, that's the number I like. I'm gonna call up Halani Base. Oh. And uh, talk to John. Just get, talk. 
<laughs> you just get my answering machine. Not this again. Since I'm, I'm, since I'm not on the base. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Oh, uh, well, uh, honestly, it uh, depends like uh, who, who you're gonna call. Are you gonna call the base itself, or are you gonna talk uh, like call Bob, like uh, you know John Boy specifically? Um, I would call the base first because I would think he'd be in his base. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, uh, uh you see a face uh, that is not uh, John, John, but uh, rather Nima. Oh, Nima boy. Nima. No, no, I kid, I kid. Nima, okay, okay. And, uh, oh. <laughs> she's, she says, uh, well, uh, good. good evening, uh, oh, good day, rather. Um, Mr. Barry, glad to see you. Uh, what uh, makes you call? Uh, hello, Nima. Um, I called here to uh, ask uh, John Bowie. If he could help me with a little experiment I was thinking of. In particularly from what I remem from what information I remember, he was a particular good user in time. Mm -hmm. Which he could help me with uh, something I wanted to experiment on. So wow. Uh, what do you have uh, in mind? Uh, maybe I can help too. Okay. Uh, you are aware of mining droids, right? Uh, and yes, they have been stationed uh, here. Okay. In fact, uh, they are the, one of the reasons why I'm here on uh, series to supervise them. Okay. Um. I was looking into, I was thinking of methods of, let's just say, efficiencies, or in terms of, uh, let's, let's just say, as you're probably aware, they mine at a normal rate per, per, per minute. I just wanted to see if I could work with um, John Bowie just to see if they could go a bit more quicker with his little time, just to see the outcomes versus incomes, hmm. pros and cons, really. Well, she looks at you and says, uh, well, I'm afraid that's a little bit beyond my capabilities. Well, I'm trained in time. I don't, I'm afraid I don't have the, uh, uh, the capability so to uh, uh, do such things. I'm able to do some uh, prediction models, so uh, if you wish. But I'm afraid uh, that mm. is uh, it. Uh, sorry to disappoint you. Uh, um, uh, uh, no, no. I also probably fit. I was also probably gonna ask. Um, how familiar? Because a uh, question with on my outer game. Would I know she's like an ex expert in AI, yes. like a top expert? Definitely, you would. Um, okay. Um, I was going to ask you uh, this question about AIs in particular, which I was talking with John Bowie about. Um, are you aware of the Sysjoy, the Sysjoid system? Ah, oh, I've, uh, I've uh, read something about it. I'm afraid I'm not exactly uh, privy to the right. Uh, level of clearance uh, to access such files however I was just able to get the general gist of the project as I do keep up uh, and do my due diligence okay uh, the Sysdroid system essentially like a series of mission robots uh, droids I was making and the first model or the first system of the model would be a combat droid and hopefully, with since I'm nearly finishing the body, I was gonna, I was going to ask, in terms of making the AI, because I know it takes a lot of time to make AI. Yes. And I did, uh, I did ask uh, John Bowie if he could, if he could, 
because if you could make the AI for the Cisdroid Trooper, which I just show the uh, picture, you know, of the Cisdroid Trooper. Mm. Like the look, like the concept image. Yes. Which, as as that, as a combat AI, and recently somebody brought to my attention that it can also be repurposed as a maintenance unit, a maintenance AI, a machine that can do maintenance and fix ups. Uh, yes, I do believe that should be possible, uh, considering uh, its anatomy is uh, quite similar to that of a human. Yeah. Okay. I was going to ask, um, would it be a bit too much? Would you be, fo would in terms of like focusing on AI, would it be better to focus on the one AI or separate in, ter in separate? tasks so working on let's just say the combat droid AI oh wow then work, then working on the maintenance AI or would you rather work on the maintenance AI than the combat AI well I do believe because uh, I would rather go we go easy to hard well I do believe uh, it's uh, quite uh, advantageous to uh, first start with the civilian use and then build the uh, military use on top of it. First of all, um, um, the military one will uh, will probably be uh, something that uh, we would rather have uh, already tested to some degree. And, uh, mm -hmm. and any errors occurring uh, would probably be uh, less problematic on, uh, on a civilian use uh, unit. Uh, than a full military okay. one and uh, ideally uh, a lot of the civilian uh, maintenance uh, uh, depending on like, what you want to do exactly but uh, at least for technocratic uh, equipment and uh, and the like it would be uh, very there would be a considerable overlap in, uh, in abilities between uh, someone doing maintenance and someone uh, well, having a bit more combat role, it certainly wouldn't hurt, and uh, in fact, I think it would uh, greatly enhance the capabilities of uh, such a such a military unit, without incurring uh, much extra costs. Okay. Oh, it's mostly That's a, actually. Oh, depending, of course, on what level of AI you want, uh, there's a certain threshold. Where I get to the point where where we cannot simply copy it, but rather uh, have to do extensive work to uh, well create it. Uh, it is it is significantly better, but uh, it uh, those are more or less unique, and I would recommend uh, perhaps going with a little bit of a simple AI. Okay. And. My other question when it concerns of the making and process of AI, what is like the biggest obstacle when it comes to such um, matters? Is it merely just um, resources or manpower when oh, it comes well, to making of AI? The biggest constraint is uh, time because no matter what, uh, it takes a huge amount of time, even if you, uh, even with a larger team to get started. That's, I think, a bit biggest bottleneck, and uh, it, it is wise to, uh, well, depending on, of course, your resources, but the easiest way to do it uh, is uh, to get a lot of uh, people into the project, coordinate them, and then, uh, of course, as I said, uh, at some point, uh, things become inef more inefficient, the more people you add, but... Uh, mm. But uh, as long as uh, the task warrants it, you should always uh, strive for the uh, biggest uh, group possible if the resources are available. Uh, if you want to get it uh, out as quickly as possible. You mentioned that uh, the you're almost being finished, which implies a mm -hmm. certain degree of urgency. Okay. As I... 
it's um is what was it? That was actually a really good answer at all. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. By the way, okay. uh, as a side note, I'm, like Arca, I'm, I'm, this woman has like uh, uh, five dots of uh, science, uh, computer science. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh. Okay. And as <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to see what I could do, you know, I'm going to, because um, when it comes to the cis droid, well, trooper, as I call this um, body, I'm going to probably, I'm going to, if, in terms, if you need any assistance when it comes to the AI or anything of that matter, uh, don't be afraid to contact me. Because this project is kind of linked to both to both of our bases, one through the body, and one through the uh, mind of this machine. Mind of the machine. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, I will do that. Oh, and before I forget, uh, you don't seem to have that much uh, experience with it. Um, but uh, I do recommend uh, keeping successor models. Uh, similar to this, unless you want a complete revamp of the AI required. Uh, it will be considerably easier to uh, enhance the capabilities of the existing AI um, rather than uh, making a complete new one, as long as uh, it's uh, done successively. Um, of course, uh, if it's done... Um, if you have uh, too many updates, then sometimes it's better to make, uh, make a completely new but uh, generally speaking, uh, most of the time you're just you're mostly pushing smart patches out for them, and uh, as long as the hardware doesn't change uh, too much, this uh, should be a uh, <coughs> this should be a quite cost-efficient solution uh, for you, and uh, we can uh, more or less keep working with the same framework uh, until. Uh, <coughs> until uh, some uh, significant uh, changes come, but uh, that's usually uh, something that comes uh, over the years, not not weeks or months. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, to be frank, there there there's software that hasn't uh, changed uh, since its inception. Uh, for example, uh, much of the for example banking uh, software. Is uh, from before the millennium, the turn to millennium, mm -hmm. and they're using uh, they're using uh, programming uh, languages that are not quite commonly available anymore. But yet the entire uh, industry uh, works on it. So uh, it does uh, it does pay to uh, well. <coughs> to uh, to uh, well, keep uh, keep software around uh, for a while. Okay. As as I nod to this, and you know, like actually takes a note of it, which I'm writing it down. And it's just like, wow, that was actually, well, that was actually something I was very unaware of actually. Thank you for enlightening me about that. Uh, <coughs> as um ha as Hyde uh, writes down his little no writes on his little notes, it's just like, wow, well, um that seems to um be it for now. Thank you for answering my questions, because I, cause, um, I was meant to ask these questions a while back, but due to the amount of things happening on series, I just didn't have enough time to do that. And I would, I would like to apologize to you and the entire team on Halani didn't, if I didn't pay enough attention to you, to all the colleagues within Halani base. I see. Because it, 
it did it did um eat it, it did bite at me because i didn't pay i didn't visited all the bases due to the massive expansion and being in charge of roughly four bases at the same time wasn't quite a um, fun experience i understand though oh i can only recommend what i um recommended uh, to uh john uh to keep a schedule during the day uh way <coughs> where you uh, essentially uh, make sure that uh, you have your t own tasks sorted, reading reports, uh, and uh, in addition to uh, having a minimum uh, regiment of uh, physical activity to keep up uh, performance. Uh, both those things uh, will help you to uh, increase your productivity. Oh, um, thank you. I'll note that there. A regiment, physical, to write down what she write down what she said. Yeah. Uh, and if if John does come back, I will visit the base just to <clears throat> just to do the experiment. Oh my throat! Sorry about that. To get some water. Yeah, that's um. You should probably get close to your mic, yeah, in the future. And uh, so, I was coughing, so I had to move away from it. Um. Okay. And yeah, Nima would also mention to you that uh, <coughs> that you uh, that uh, well that you can probably call him at uh, at uh, Holos the hollow portal base yes that uh, is where he went unless he was obscuring it uh, did you uh, obscure the uh, neck is he dead I think he, he died alright stepped away for a moment yes we don't want you yeah, uh, just asking uh, if you would uh, obscure where you were exactly going. Um, I probably like wouldn't have told anyone because I would be in a rush. But if there's like any like indicator like tracking on us, it it would be up and on. Uh, John had his whole breakthrough, and it's like, oh, I gotta solve this problem. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Um, yeah, no, in that case, Nina would probably know. Ooh. And, what? uh, well, tell you, um, that, uh, he is, uh, at that base. Okay. As I should correct Nima's name in that in those notes. Yeah, it's a double E. Not uh, one E. Nice. Okay. And, um, so we probably ended the conversation. It's nice speaking to you. Uh, nice speaking to you too. And uh, good luck on your project. And good. L and also good luck. For, thank you for running Holo, uh, Halani base <laughs> whilst, I w whilst my absence was very not present. Of course, uh, not much of an issue. And yeah, okay. Do keep an eye on John though for me. I will. I will make sure he is uh, quite efficient. Thank you. Okay, and uh, well then, uh, yeah, if we keep this talk quick, then we can just talk and then uh, do allied afterwards. Yep, uh, well, I can pretty much uh, cut it down. Yeah, okay, Don't and uh, well, Johnny boy, uh, you're being called. Johnny's coming home, alright. Yeah.
I turn on the hands-free communication on the moon hopper. Hope of hopefully this stuff is still working. Ah, uh, and it is. Tend to take calls. It is. Uh, Hello, John. Yeah, you see a face. Hello, boss man. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna ask. Uh, are you free for today, by any chance? It, it depends. Um, I just wait, want. Wait, to... why are you at, at like a forty-five degree end? Uh. Damn. <laughs> but, oh uh, yeah, I was going to ask. Could you? I, I was going to ask since you're very proficient in time. And I was going to ask. I was going to do a little experiment on a single mining droid, which. I'm going to need your hand for to see the um, let's just say if the single mining droid can create a more output for le than less invested let's just say e.g. Okay. add time free to the uh, mining droid I thought we already optimized the mining droids well that's with um that's with um, that's with normal procedures they are optimized but I think we could probably increase its efficiency more with the with the power with the power of time we could but, I mean like we can and all that are you sure remember what happened to the other base oh the and difference time is le leaking everywhere oh. The thing is, we're working on a single mining droid, not an entire base. True, true. Uh, I, I just assume we would expand this. We want to just keep it to one. Well, fear it would be, but we need to see how it progresses before we do any form of expansion. Because I prefer not to jump the but jump the cradle. Okay, I, I can help you know speed them up, but uh, the frame might not be able to take it. So. That's why I'm here to. That's why I'm here to to see if. That's why I need your help. So, if it was, if they can't handle the frame, we could. I could analyze to see why they couldn't handle it. Okay. Yeah, because this, in the end, this is like a little test I wanted to do for quite some time. Yeah, as long as you you're able to, you know, reinforce them, I'm sure we can figure something out. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's difficult to repair those things. Well, we do have some scrap from that ship. Me and Vicious Love got so. Oh, I, I, I was just trying to give myself a compliment. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I just assume John could fix whatever would break on them quite easily. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I want, I, no, I want to see how good your repairing skills are now. No. I mean... It just like my head just starts turning around. It's like, have you seen the moon hopper? Just look, looks at the moon hopper. First bank, so it nearly blew up. Remember uh, when it melted? Uh, uh, I will supervise you. <laughs> Go. Yeah, I just put that on my do list. Okay. 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 Very okay. much. That's very nice. And uh, so. Uh, so, what exactly did you guys uh, agree on? Essentially, just to work on one mining droid to see what the power of time free can do with it. Because since I'm reading in the mage book, it can like increase, you know, how mundanely. 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, That's why I see what the effects on it on the mining droid is. Sure. Sure. I guess it's so nice to figure it out in character, the exact limits of it. But yeah, okay, that seems fine. By me. Time for L. Yep. Uh, let's see. Added, are you here yet? Local man about to have 30 minutes time to speed run. Oh, that's, uh, that's quite a tight schedule, but, uh, okay. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, go to Hubba Wub Yuku. And, uh, well, where would you be at this time? Um, it's, well, uh, I... Early-ish in the morning, I suppose. We would, uh, uh, would it be a new day from when me and, uh, we went and got the Wormy Boys? I believe, uh, it is a new day, at least according to, uh, what we talked about, uh, and yes, others. I would be in my office, um, otherwise known as the, uh, fucking stateroom. Okay, feel free to track yourself out, uh, someone, uh, is coming, and has announced himself, it's, uh, it's Lewis. And, you know, you already hear him, uh, like, running, uh, down the floor, from the outside. Yes, I mean running, running. Sam debates just closing the door on him. <laughs> well, uh, you hear the doorbell uh, ring. Sam's gonna open it. Well, and Lewis uh, comes in. And uh, yeah, you can already see he's uh, slightly out of breath. Good morning, Lewis. Good morning. Uh, that's a very bright smile. I've uh, had a breakthrough. In? In? Uh, well, I had it uh, in uh, my endeavors uh, trying to find someone uh, for uh, for the uh, project to keep uh, soldiers fighting after death. Alright, who is it? I uh, I did some calls and uh, um, well I'm not sure it's like not exactly someone on series. Uh, it's someone called uh, Alexander Smith. Uh, I found him uh, after doing some calls around here, and uh, it seems uh, Richard Bowie, uh, one of the uh, guys at uh, <coughs> at uh, Rongo Base, uh, knew someone uh, that could help. And uh, would also be willing to help. And uh, yeah, we already did. Since you already talked uh, to his boss, and uh, it seems uh, uh, we can even uh, house him for a duration of the project uh, if things go all right. Uh, some permissions I are still needed, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, overall it's uh, looking pretty good uh, for a day's work. Okay, hold on, Lewis. I just, I just want to make, I just want to be very clear so I, I get this channel events. It's still very early, like Sam like looks down his coffee. I've had three sips of my coffee at this point, and the span of us coming back with Adam and Eve, you've been able to call enough people to locate somebody who doesn't violate any of the like five things I set out. Start greasing the tra greasing the trail of paperwork to get them to come to series, and not only that, to then be stationed at this base during the during the duration of said project. Well, uh, I was actually quite lucky on that. That's one of the first people that I called. Um. Well. <coughs> um and. Uh, yeah, uh, it's actually, yeah, I did that uh, quite, quite, quite quickly. It's a uh, well, mo mostly not my work, uh, but uh, Mr. Bowie's work. As uh, he was uh, quite willing to help, uh, he just wants me to help him uh, with something else, 
in the future. So, yeah, he so was he quite interested to help he, me. He hasn't told you yet what he wants your help with? No, just a, just he wants a favor from me. That's all. I forget, is Lewis deprogrammed or not? No. He is uh, quite programmed. I question that sometimes. Um, Sam's just gonna rub his temples. All right, Lewis. I. <sighs> what convention is the guy from? Uh, Iteration X, I believe. Uh, biomechanics, uh, to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's just looking down in this cup of coffee like I, I wish it was blacker <laughs> <laughs> just like I I wish it was like a black hole in my cup of coffee because it still would not be black enough <laughs> to keep me sane in these trying times <laughs> Sam's just gonna bring it up to his like as, as per everything said I <sighs> all right um what was it I said he has to do all that and then I'll send the I'll approve the project and then I'll send it up to Noah is that what I said Rama? uh I'm not sure what the exact words but uh yeah it's like before the conditions and then uh you more or less uh you know quote unquote approve it on your end yeah yeah all right. Um, all right. Yeah. All right. Then I will begin the paperwork here soon, uh, Louis. I I approve it for the time being, then until somebody tells me otherwise, or you somehow endanger half the base. Excellent. Huh? Very excellent. I believe. Uh... I believe we should be able to like, get this uh, project going rather quickly. Um, however, I would like uh, a permission to uh, look for volunteers. Uh, um, I, actually, I should give you some um, intelligence uh, politics real quick. Uh, just at a five. Intelligent politics. And I have analytical. Yeah, okay. Okay. I don't think so it wouldn't quite help, back. but uh yeah, yeah, you do you do quite clearly remember, uh wait, uh isn't like well it's uh, you know, not necessary for everything. Normally, um Normally, uh, most scientists uh, don't go straight to human testing, but uh, you know, rather uh, use uh, animals, usually some sort of rodent, like mice, someone that isn't dangerous by itself. Lewis, I understand the vigor and desire she can work on the project quickly, but I'm pretty sure you don't jump to human testing first and foremost. Mm. And, uh, you know, you see, it's, uh, you see, like, look dumbfounded, and then he slaps his forehead. Right, right, right. Maybe I'm a bit uh, too enthusiastic about this. Now, I guess it makes it easier to sell, uh, uh, to, to, to sell it, uh, overall. I don't think it's uh, quite that easy to convince uh, someone uh, now, to go remember to, do all, all the to do all the necessary testing. Rem remember, Lewis, PR and the and the proof and the foundational work laid will always convince more people than going, "Hey, I cut this man's arms off against this wool and put a robot arm on." Did it work? Yes. But it makes you seem like you're insane one way. Whereas the other way is a world renowned uh, medical procedure. You mm. need to build the foundation to get what you want. 
Uh, I suppose that's true. Uh, well, I guess that's uh, why you're the boss. <laughs> Sam thing in the back of his head. No, not really, but fair enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, 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 he goes, no, that, that's why quite a bit of my projects get approved. Because the foundation I lay way ahead of time and nobody catches it until it's too late. Well then, Lewis, we will see about... Mm, see what type of animals you're going to need to run for the... Not gorillas, not gorillas. You're not getting gorillas right away. What smaller animals that we can go from there? Hmm. And T, like it looks. Uh, well, I guess so. Uh, first off, we can start with some uh, mice and then later upgrade to something uh, bigger and more human like. Yeah. I hear, uh, like, some of my colleagues uh, often use. Uh, like uh, some sort of a uh, ape or chimpanzee, they usually uh, they they have like some similarities with humans and uh, would probably serve uh, their purpose no uh, okay. rather efficiently before I can move on to human testing. Perfect. And remember, don't let the other project don't let the other projects fall to the wayside. Understood. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry, uh, like, it's gonna take me, uh, take us some time to get this, uh, expert, uh, on board. I just wanted to have it, that, uh, out of the way, so, things are working, uh, while I do so, do the other work. I don't think, um, it will be, uh, to take that long, uh, to do the other stuff, like setting up the, the worm farm that we, that we, uh, decided on, and, uh, well, also some good news, so, I think... Uh, I can soon present uh, my first first prototype for the uh, uh, for the nano machine man, but I'm not sure. Mm. What exactly. I need still need a, a catchy name for it. Made out of nano machines, you said, right? Yes. No, no, that that that's when M's retires back on um hmm Rudomer. Does yeah. the union own the trademarks to Terminators? I don't think directly. They would be more owning uh stuff um uh, uh essentially like there would probably be a syndicate thing. Um and they would probably uh uh, more do counseling for 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 this kind of project. Mm. I mean, they they don't mm. own it directly. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of. Uh, I'm trying to think. Of like a really stupid catchy name <laughs> for this, it's not the Terminator. <laughs> and my brain keeps going, what about the Liquid Goblin? <laughs> <laughs> liquid Goblin. <laughs> oh, fucking God. Lewis, what do you, Lewis, what do you think about the 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 um the Silver Goblin? The Silver Goblin, huh? White Goblin. I can see the silver part. Well, because it's made out of nano machines, right? Yes. So that means, theoretically, it should be able to con change its size. Uh... And goblins are known to just kind of be fucking everywhere when, we're, when you're hunting them. And they're tiny and they're real annoying. And that's what this thing... We're not going to be able to just shoot this thing and it dies. You know, might rip an arm off of it. And, you know, the arm becomes a smaller version of it. I don't know. Also, because I think Terminator is taken by the, by the syndicate, and I really don't want to have to fight a legal battle with them over copyright law. <sighs> I suppose. Huh? You could go. You could go ask. A, you could go make a weird like raffle game out of it. Or what would you would call a weird liquid 
nano warrior, nano machine warrior with the the base and see what weird names they put in a hat. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Oh. Uh, what if I uh sent like a sent like a mail uh to everyone and uh, they all get to like uh, put in their names. Then I choose uh, maybe like uh, I don't know the top ten. And uh, those that uh, and those uh, well, the, the, those that win, uh, they get to uh, uh, they get to order the uh, they get to order the uh, thing around in a public demonstration, and uh, get to play around hmm. and get uh, get uh, into the photo op. That hmm, Sam like <laughs> Sam kind of like leans back thinking about it. He goes. You know, in his head, he's like, you know, if any of those Cindy's and, and the Void Engineers win, that's going to be a great PR fucking stunt. Hmm. You know what, Lewis? It's not, that's not that bad. I would say narrow it down to five people. Uh, sure. Because sure. you're going to be end up in it, Um, as are probably a couple of other people. And well, you know how it is. Too many names on the, too many names can lose the focus of the primary man. You oh, know. uh, well, like once we narrow it down, it's more, uh, it's more something for, um, for like people to, uh, like vote on, and we would only meet him with like you know, the final winner. So it's like always gonna be. Uh, like, oh, yeah. Winners. No. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. We'll go with your way. But that yeah. one was fair. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will probably put in uh, uh, the silver goblin uh, as well. You don't need to uh, get to me uh, about that specifically. I swear to God, the silver goblin ends up winning. Redom, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like put it to, like, put like put to like a group vote and uh, make that a deciding <laughs> factor. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking rip my hair out. Yeah. Alright, so. um But yeah. Is there anything else then, Lewis? Uh not really, no. Uh well I guess uh now that I'm here, I would uh uh, you can probably sign uh, uh, my request for different materials, uh, since uh, we're not doing quite uh, the hydroponics, uh, so we need to uh, well, stop the order of that and uh, change it uh, to, to, to different materials. I've already put together a list uh, on the way back. Sam's gonna reach over and look at, make sure there's nothing fucking make sure Lewis isn't trying to slip anything in that he really shouldn't or it's gonna redline us again well uh, uh, do you have any uh, science uh, biology yeah. related yes, no no biology but I have five dots of science uh, mm, mm. do you have technology or a hypothetical two dots one dot Okay, give me like a intelligence have attack at a six. Fucking rip. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this seems completely fine. Here you go, Lewis. Yeah, okay. And, uh, here I go, no nods and says, so. Uh, thank you, I will put it uh, to good use. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, out, out of character. Like, it wasn't nothing too serious. Uh,. Well, he did, uh, he did just, uh, order, like, uh, you know, a bit more than, uh, normally necessary. Yeah, uh, he plans to go, he plans to go ham on this. Like, he has, like, some supplement stuff, uh, that, uh, <coughs> that, uh, you know, are supposed to make them, uh, you know, to, to give them, to give them, uh, to give them everything they need, uh, and then, and, and then some. So he wants to make them like dummy thick, and uh, some of those uh, 
a bit, uh, you know, on the enhanced side. You know, the, the, yeah. the, those are the enhanced drug memes, essentially like done that, but on like the realm supplements. <laughs> so, uh, it's not quite I love necessary. That, I love that Lewis isn't evil. Yeah. He's just. He's just lost in his own sauce. Yeah, that's that's basically his stick. Like, you know, um, all, the, all the cruelty of, you know, trapping people's mind in their own rotting bodies and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's just not something he considers. He, he like, really... It just flies straight over his head. To, to, be, to be fair, though, right? After, after that, we can then take them and put them in his murder machines. Sure. Because we're putting nano machine and nano machine. Sure, the guy may ne- sure they may never you know be themselves again, but I can still do their duty for the union. That's all that matters. You know, that's essentially the, the equivalent uh, of the nano machine equivalent of putting them in like Terminator armor and like sealing them in like Space Marines. I mean, the former yeah. ones. You don't get to retire in the union. What are you fucking lazy? <laughs> exactly. Exactly, that's like a year's experience and training wasted. Exactly! We can't waste those vital resources when manpower right now is so short. God bless. Okay, that sounds uh, good. And uh, well, what do you do uh, afterwards? I'm gonna finish my fucking cup of coffee. <laughs> that's fair. And I just, like, stare at the door waiting for somebody else to fucking enter with something just almost as stupid. Well, it's not quite a doorway, uh, but uh, eventually... You know what I mean. Yes, sir. But, uh, you know, if you wait long enough, um, uh, someone is uh, going to call you. It's, uh, uh, it's, uh, well, someone you, whose name you'd probably recognize. I'm not sure if you uh, met him before or not. Um, but, uh, the name is, uh, Melchior Gold. Who in the f- Oh, is it the Cindy guy? Yes. Uh, that's working with Bacon. Ah. Yes, uh, do you take the call? My lawyer. But he was my lawyer once. Sam right? fills up- Sam fills up his other cup of coffee. Then he answers it. God bless. Okay, and yeah, uh, this is indeed uh, your lawyer. Okay, and uh, you know, do you see a do you see a man uh, there, and uh, when he sees you, uh, he rubs his hand uh, in uh, anticipation. No, okay, I can't talk. But yeah, he uh, is very excited to see you, and uh, says, uh, "Ah, Mr. Mr. O'Neill, uh, pleasure to meet you. I make your gold." Pleasure to meet you, Melchior Goat. Uh, to what do I have oh, the pleasure of speaking with you about? Oh well, uh, I'm I'm here uh, to <coughs> to uh, well ask about uh, a, uh, a thing you have uh, going for yourself in regards to Gribnoi. Um, as you may or may not know, um, I'm going to be uh, one of the people involved in the. Uh, Recent, uh, recently, uh, well, announced the uh, expansion of the Gribnoi uh, projects, and uh, ah, I, I will be, uh, I will be, I will be either involved in uh, consulting or running the uh, uh, the tr- the trading, uh, the local trading. But um, long story short, uh, um, my associates. Uh, have uh, noticed that uh, certain rights have been transferred to you. Yes, indeed. I have acquired certain rights to certain elements of Grimnoid and, well, when given the chance, we'll begin to start pressing uh, for certain other rights in the far future. Of course. After all, a healthy economy is a good economy. Yes, a competitive yes. economy is a healthy economy. There we go. I see that uh, the files do not lie. Uh, your training uh, has indeed stuck with you. Well, um, that makes it uh, significantly easier. 
as you kind might uh, as you might be able to imagine, we are quite interested in having a, a functioning water supply on uh, on Gribnoi, mm -hmm. and uh, well, <coughs> since that falls under your purview, um, I would like to know uh, how do you pl how you how, how you plan uh, to set up the infrastructure necessary, and uh, well, if necessary, I can also we can also offer you some uh, consulting. And perhaps uh, even invest uh, in you. Ah, well, primary for the primary production of uh, yeah, production of the water, it will mainly be automated, with of course ma maintenance personnel um, to come check it on occasion. Mm -hmm. I do not plan on having personnel. I do not plan on attempting to do it the older fashion. Uh, produce it and then store it in tanks is an idea I'm currently floating on the matter. Primary because of it still being a he like makes it air quote frontier region. Uh, water on de water on demand will be good. However, a storage of it will be more useful if things per come push come to shove. Uh. For the farms, will of course have the primary. Uh, water pump to them because that is going to be from what I currently know with the plans the primary focus up until the I, if I remember correctly you're building really like you know resorts and other R&R type uh, facilities yes uh, I believe uh, that's a uh, part of the plan um, as far as I know the uh, the farming base is uh, well, the main focus uh, and uh, primary uh, uh, primary, uh, well, official, mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, o official, uh, well, investment point of it. Yeah. Uh, however, the uh, I believe uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tao has uh, gotten uh, some ideas of uh, and uh, initiated some initial uh, well efficiency uh, studies to uh, create. Uh, yeah, to create a rec recreation area, which uh, I believe uh, should be uh, not only not only uh, good for the uh, for the morale, but uh, also something that might uh, make some money back, uh, as we can offer some uh, premium services there. Um, at least indeed. that's the hope. Yes, I indeed the uh, and then for the I I I have I've yet to look over the estimated production value, uh, estimate required production value for both the farms and the current plans for the R&R &R and smaller scale exporting of said water. Yes. Um, I only have, the, you know, currently is estimated right now. And once I have a harder, um, a harder number on, I was planning on forward it to the party that Vicious Lav uh, had yet to give, give me in contact with, which I guess will be you. And also, of course, uh, Wu Tao, my, uh, uh, he's my supervisor, right, Rodama? Forget that. Well, right, he's right. up to you. He's supervisor under you, technically. Yeah, he's, he has a, uh, Ted, yeah, the, uh, Wu Tao. Um, and from there, I was going to see if I, as I'm sure you're well aware, I, I myself have some, uh, savings, I guess you could say, which I was going to put forward to it. Hmm, excellent, excellent. Yes. Uh, well, I was not planning on leaning on too, hopefully not having to lean too heavily on the syndicate, as you know, I'm well aware they have far more important projects and margins to deal with. Oh, that's true. Ideally, we would like uh, as little trouble as uh, possible, as uh, as you know, we mostly focus on uh, on consulting and. Uh, uh, and doing corrective uh, measures as needed, mm -hmm. rather than uh, control things ourselves. Um, well, what I was uh, thinking of, uh, well, uh, there's uh, certain things you should be aware of uh, in terms of demand. <coughs> that it will not just be those uh, bases, but uh, there would also be a significant part of a uh, sort of, uh, well, let's call it civilian population. Mm. Um, that needs uh, access to fresh uh, water for sure. Mm -hmm. 
is this on a temporary, a rotational, or a permanent basis? A uh, permanent basis. So uh, hmm. essentially, essentially, we've uh, we will be settling uh, contractors th uh, on uh, Gribnoi to make sure yeah. that uh, well, why they technically can leave uh, at any point. Um, well, their pl their spots will be fair filled if they, if they decide to do so by uh, a, an appropriate replacement. Ah, yes. Contract workers. Yes. Hmm. What, uh, what, what is this spitball for that for that number of... Uh, for the, the current wave of contractor workers? Well, do you have a rough idea at this point yet? It's uh, not quite sure yet, but uh, I believe, uh, at least by my estimates, we could... Uh, Within a few months, we could be dealing with like up to a hundred people. And uh, well, I do think uh, in the following years uh, it might end up uh, being more. It depends on like how much, uh, uh, how how you want to plan. Uh, but I do think it would be wise uh, for you <coughs> to um, to to plan your infrastructure uh, for well, for more long term. Uh, Habitation, which will mean increasing numbers. So, uh, and uh, well, no. I don't want to like leave myself uh, out uh, too much uh, here, but uh, potentially in the thousands uh, eventually. So, uh, well. oh, I, I, I was under the assumption that we're that no in vicious lab that thousands were the were, were the low end. Actually, it is it is good to see that you uh you, that uh. People are keeping it very reasonable at the start of this frontier project. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, uh well, that's very nice of you <laughs> to say. Gonna butter up Mister Gold himself. <laughs> yes. As well, um, that is us uh, with another issue. You mentioned uh, wanting to uh, wanted to have uh, some maintenance workers uh, deal with it. More or less, and uh, have it mostly automated. Uh, yes. Well, if you don't mind me asking, uh, where do you exactly plan to source these uh, people from? Oh, I, I was going to forward that information and let that be handled strictly by, um, by Vicious Love, as he has some interesting projects in the works. I'm sure you're well aware of the as uh, automation has increased and. Uh, as well as the man known as uh, Hyde, located on series. Ah, oh, yes, sir. I've heard of him. He has a rather mythical touch when it comes to certain machinery, and I was hoping his experience... <laughs> look, look, we have to play him up, okay? We have to. There's no stopping at this point for Hyde. Yes. Uh, and his, And I was going to bring up the idea of potentially having him or somebody he he's no uh, work on some form of not self maintaining pumps and pipes, but things of those types of natures. Really, really, it wouldn't be too hard to locate some some piping and at least for the uh, the first round of simplified to then more advanced. And the maintenance people be more or less going out using what potentially vicious lab can create and going to go. Hmm, this is a leak. Patch it. Nothing too complex at the start. Mm -hmm. I, after all, want to see that these investments are going to work out. You don't, you know, throw your money all in a sinking ship. Uh, this is true. Um, well, I do want to. Uh, I wanted. Uh, I wanted to give you the option to perhaps uh, for us to bring in someone, but uh, I guess that works as well. Any. Uh, well, I guess we'll talk to Mister uh, uh, Hydeberry to see. Uh, how fast he can pull it off, but uh, mm. if it's in time, then uh, well, there shouldn't be no problem. Um, <coughs> I feel so bad. I'm giving Emps more shit to do. <laughs> yeah, like Emps is down to it's gonna be fucking fucking cursed. Yeah. Um. And I mean, of course, worse worse comes to worse. I still have. <laughs> I I still have other people I could potentially lean on or even the most basic skills to do it myself. Oh, uh, well. Yeah. Beauty is something secondary to me. Functionality is the primary goal. 
Well, that's uh, so I went yeah. for the initial like buildings and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I was uh, wondering um, <clears throat> if we can perhaps uh, set up some um, contracts with the uh, construction company that's uh, being founded right now. Um, as I want to make sure that uh, they have enough work uh, initially uh, to justify um, a big investment uh, to get them started. Uh, I mm -hmm. want to, they, uh, as you might be aware, that, uh, <laughs> that there is no infrastructure practically on uh, Gribnoi. That's none. I hear they don't even have dirt roads yet. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that means uh, effectively that uh, mm, that there is nothing uh, nothing we can build upon. We need to create everything from scratch, more or less. Which is why um, the construction company will be one of the first things uh, uh, to be uh, to be active uh, within the following month, maybe sooner, uh, depending on how fast my my colleagues can uh, hire adequate uh, personnel. Uh, the initial number is. Uh, is uh, 12 but uh, I believe uh, if uh, you're willing to sign uh, certain contracts with them mm -hmm. ahead of time uh, of course with uh, with assurances uh, to meet deadlines and uh, well contractual uh, <coughs> contractual uh, fines uh, should they not be able to meet their, their, end, their, their deadlines to give you some assurances here since we're dealing with a completely new company that is being stumped from uh, out of the ground. <coughs> uh, well, uh, we'd be willing to invest uh, more into them and uh, be willing to uh, give them uh, some loans on a more generous basis, so as mm -hmm. they, uh, so as they're able to uh, hire a larger crew right from the start, okay. which will benefit uh, construction in the long term. Now, my 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 only my only thing with that is, of course, it's a new found new construction company being founded. So my my primary concerns are, of course, the con con uh, the contract in and of itself, which is up for debate. Um, and the other thing is the experience and the technical know-how and the actual shown capacity of each individual being brought in. Um, of course, as we both know, workers are dimes a dozen. But those of proper conviction and capabilities are far fewer in between. So I would, I would personally like to see proof of each. I, Rodomer, by the way, I'm not asking for you to make sheets for these people. Okay, yeah. let me just get yeah. that out there real fast. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I would like to see you know the the capability of them or of them what they've worked on in the past. Oh, I and understand. Their so. specific role <clears throat> I suppose so I can give you a list of uh, of people we uh, that are under closer consideration so far. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, then... I believe the group is uh, still uh, rather large, but uh, well, I don't think that will be that much of an issue to give you, I guess, I guess a bit, bit of a preview here. And uh, mm -hmm. well, if you're dissatisfied with any of them. You can give us a note, and we will take it into into consideration. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we can be in touch about that to make sure, yeah. uh, well, you are uh, you and uh, us are equally satisfied. Once uh, forward me your current uh, your your current drafts for any uh, contracts you wish to speak about, and oh, I nice will look them you. over once I have my. Uh, uh, my compatriot I have here, and we will then send back the revised, and we will go from there. I think he does. I, I, I do not have any issue working with um, fellow oh, syndicates. But, but right. what, what was that, Rodama? I can see you lighting up, but you're uh, not hearing you. Oh, can you not hear me? Uh, hello? No, I think it's oh, fuck, somewhere everyone is quiet. Side, they can hear you. Oh no. That's not Rather good. Uh, give me a sec. Hello? Okay. That's not good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<sighs> oh. can, can I? Can we still be heard on stream? <laughs> We okay, something very weird screen. is happening. Uh, like I see it, uh, like a uh, like people talking in um, uh, in like OBS, and I see like people. I see some proper uh, like this. Got a lot of noises, shit actually, to do in this downtime. It's not fun. Discord. So um, I'm gonna Brother go and Maria say this session faggot. is uh, over now because. Uh, we're already, uh, already past quitting. the time. What the fuck? Um, we're not gonna do like encouraging out of character stuff. You can, uh, I guess, uh, type that out for for now. And uh, well, I guess I will say goodbye to the bots, and uh, you guys can say that too. I think it should be on the recording. That might be that's just uh, headphone issues for me. But uh, yeah. Now I won't say goodbye to the bots. Fuck your bots and fuck your Redmer. Yeah, fuck you. I, what I... are you guys saying? <laughs> But, but no he at all. he cut me on countering cucking the fucking Cindy. Ah, Oy vey. Okay. Uh, that well, that is some advanced uh, boy vey. Say goodbye to the bots. Um, because uh, yeah, he was rubbing his hand. He's just, he's just pretending, you know.